Hey, what is up guys? Total War Chaos here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to win almost every single battle in your Total War campaign, Three Kingdoms. So, first thing you want to do is, you want to make sure you have a Vanguard a General, a Vanguard or a Champion. So that this way they can lead the Cavalry. Uh, you know, if anything happens, um, the, the Vanguard or the, ca uh, the Champion General, they can help out the Cavalry quite a lot. Or they can engage combat with the enemy General and take them down. If you have a commander, then the commander isn't really going to provide a lot of value in these battles. He's just going to stand around and do nothing. Um, and keep in mind that I am playing in... Uh, I'm not playing in romance mode. So the generals are weaker, but they have more bodyguards. That means they, are, they count as a cavalry unit. And I prefer this way. Um, but it, doesn't, it shouldn't matter. This, the, the principle of this tactic should be the same. You're using cavalry units to outflank, outmaneuver the enemies. And so here, it doesn't matter what cavalry units you have, as long as you have any. So I just like my, uh, Lancer Militia. They're cheap. Um, they are the, the Shock Cavalry uh, in this game. So I just prefer the Shock Cavalry. You can have the Saber Cavalry as well. Uh, let's see where we can recruit to show you some units. Not here. So yeah. Um, I have all types. You can have the Raider Cavalry, the Mountain Lancer Militia. Uh, and then the Mounted Saber Militia, those are your starting cavalry. They do cost a lot, and uh, their upkeep is quite a lot, uh, but they're really worth it. Honestly, I don't even need these um, infantry units. I, I can probably like take down quite a lot of armies with these four elite cavalry units. Maybe two more, just to top it off, top things off. Um, but yeah, so this is basically my main army. Not a whole lot of units. And then this is my second army, my third army over here which I've used this to conquer these two towns with literally only six cavalry units. Um, I will show you how it's done in, in a moment. All right now guys, moving on to the battle. As you can see here, we are heavily outnumbered. The AI predicted that we're gonna lose and try to win this one here. That looks pretty unwinnable um, but with the help of Machel. Uh, we, we're gonna probably gonna win this since they don't have any Vanguard. Um, we look at the spear units, nothing significant. So we can bypass these three spear units and yeah, I mean we can charge head, in, head on into the axe units, the cavalry, the archers, the generals with any one of our units. So this should be pretty good. Let's get straight in. Alright, so once we are in, I do have these two superior uh, medium spear cavalry. So I'm going to group them up together. Since they have their own movement speed, we're gonna leave them on their own so that they're not out of sync with the other cavalry. And I'll have the other light cavalry together. And it doesn't really matter where you put them, and I'll have the general in the middle. We're just gonna move forward. I wanna scout out what they have. Just gonna make sure that, you know, yeah, they only have um, three three spear, three polearm units. They do have a lot of cavalry from the generals. Um. Okay, so what I'm going to do is have my medium spear units, medium cavalry unit, the elite ones, on the right side to, to fight off their, their cavalry. And then I have the light cavalry on the left side to try to deal with the archers. And I have my child in the middle, just chilling. You can actually dodge the arrows by, if you sidestep, if you zigzag, you can see here I'm dodging all the arrows. So I'm just going to do that meanwhile I'm not doing anything. So this unit is out here for some reason, I don't know why. We actually just gonna charge them here. We actually just gonna charge them here. They're like not protected at the moment. They're on the right side. I'm gonna just change my mind, charge the archers on the right. This is, this is a little bit difficult. Um, as you can see, one of the units routed already. I forgot to manage the other cavalry unit, so then I just left him charged by the other unit. Okay, there's an opening here, there's an opening here, so we just gonna go straight in. The spears are not as fast. We're gonna move to the left a little bit. And they're fighting here just fine, because this is an axe unit, it's not a spear unit. We do have the two 
uh, medium cavalry there. The two elite units, so we should be okay. And when the general follows you, I tend to just ignore them. They just don't inflict enough damage to like immediately take you down. So you just want to focus the archers and ignore the, the general cavalry. And now you want to pull out because the pull arms are coming. You can just buy time and just pull out. And here we're still fighting. Is it just a general? So our general is losing here. Definitely don't want to fight here anymore. We probably want to go this side. Alright, the archers are on their own again. We just charge them. So Macho is losing. This is not it's not looking too great, but it could be worse, honestly. There there are ways you can just break the actually, there's only one spear unit. We just gotta charge right in. Put them on the right side. Can this unit move? No. Nope. He's kinda stuck there. We're gonna charge him here in the back. They should be routing now. Yep. Two units routing. Three units routing. This should be in the bag. Um, as long as the general don't fall. I'm really worried about general. Alright, we're gonna sacrifice one of the light units. Have him fight the general while our general escape. This is not good. If our general dies, it's over. It doesn't matter what we do so far. We've almost won the battle though. Alright, so our general managed to get out. This unit here is not looking good. Um, they're stuck. So it's best if we send this unit here. We'll spend it to... Oh, he's turning around. Alright, we're gonna have like all the cavalry come over. This will be losing. Yep. Let's just charge the general. Let's see what happens. Should be a pretty good charge here. Okay, I guess. That was kind of underwhelming, but that's fine. We do have the reinforcement here now. Usually, you want the light cavalry to chase the um, the archers instead. There, there are ways where you can break spear units, pull arm units with cavalry. Oh god, the guy's going, he's going nuts. I will show you guys how to deal with spear units. So it's really simple, you have one unit just facing them in the front and engage them, but not charging them. Because they will have the charge deflection, which will hurt your cavalry more than you hurt the unit you charge into. And then you have the other cavalry unit charge them in the flank. And that's just pretty much how you deal with them. You can't really deal with them when you're like um, kind of controlling all the other cavalry units. It's really chaotic, so this is why you will always want to avoid spear units. So now the general's down. Um, We don't need to kill the infantry yet. We have one more cavalry unit over there. We're just gonna finish off the general and then we're gonna finish the two spear units. It should not be um, too difficult. They are medium spear. So we're just gonna charge them head on. They are exhausted. They'll be routing anytime soon. So every unit should be exhausted right now, yep. Except for the two uh, elite units, they're immune to fatigue. And yep, that should be it. And now you don't want to end the battle. You want to make sure you're, you finish off like the, uh, the units with a lot of numbers. So these two units, they're kind of full. You want to make sure you finish them off before you end the battle. Alright guys, so I want to show you guys another battle. We're up against 
polearm infantry and six archer units. Um, and we have our vanguard, our general, and his bodyguards, and six mounted lancer militia. So let's take a look how we're gonna play this. I send the general uh, middle, and I send three cavalry on the left, three cavalry on the right, uh, because obviously there's no way we can charge head on and win. So I'm gonna just use my general as a decoy because he has the highest movement speed. We're gonna speed this up. Um, I, I know they're gonna shoot like um, a fire at will on my general, so I try to dodge the arrows. Um, I don't think it was very effective. It helped a little, but I was taking a lot of damage. And then so here, um, this part on the right is protected by the spear, so I just move closer, but not close enough to charge. And then here, the, I saw an opening, so I immediately sent a cavalry straight into the archer units. They were just idling here, so they weren't quick enough. Then they immediately took like half damage, and they're pretty much gone. The enemy unit and then here, see the entire back here? It's just archer units with no protection. So I just charged the rest of my units in. Even though the spear units are here, the charge will go off. Um, this is this was actually not a good idea. I just charged straight into the spear, uh, and then here I just pursued the routing units, and then here I sent my general and charged into the two medium spear units in the back, and they just routed immediately. So that that was like the same thing as before. One unit you know takes the aggro, and then the other unit charges them. From behind and that way that's just you just gotta take them out straight away especially if you have shot cavalry and then here my units are actually lasting quite a while even against the polearm units but uh if i if i stay there any longer my units will start uh going down so i pull them out and at this point we've pretty much won we can just keep circling them and just keep playing around with them And here, I'm just trying to finish off, finish off the archer units. Um, there's two archer units over here and over there. And here, I'm just um, trying to micromanage the, this side here. And I just leave my units the other side. Just chilling. I think here, actually, yeah. I dismounted my general and I just charged straight into the gym militia. And in here, I want to send one of my cavalry to charge him in the back. Same again here, I'm going to charge him in the, the other flank. But here I immediately what pulled out because of the spear infantry chasing us. And from this point on, I just do the same tactic. One unit take the aggro and then I have the other cavalry charge them um, in the rear. Just the, just the same thing. Uh, but here there's three of them, right? So I just want to pull out. I just want to buy time. I don't want to actually charge in. I can deal with this unit over here first. Same again. We charge them in the flank. The enemy warriors are running. <laughs> My general actually routed here, I think. Um, but it's still fine. Because we're going to win in the end. We just keep doing the same tactic. Uh, this, this was kind of awkward. The enemy routed, my unit routed. But that was fine. We still have four cavalry units. And because the distance of the infantry are so spread out, we can just take them out one by one. We can first deal with this one. Pretty sure... I'm just gonna charge. They're gonna charge my general, and I'm just gonna charge them from three different directions. Yep, and then they're pretty much the gone. Enemy unit, what and then, yeah, and that's that's the end of the battle, and we just clean up. So, um, hope this video helped you guys. If you found this video helpful, leave a thumbs up, and if you want to see more Total War Three Kingdoms content, subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.